Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Letting Your Sun Shine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So, lately, in the last couple readings, in the last couple weeks, I guess, um, there's been like this, like, the color lilac or smoky purple or something keeps coming up. And so, last week, I went for lunch with a friend and she's like, hey, do you remember that reading you did um, did for me? And it was one of these dragon cards and there was a lilac dragon that came out. And that's actually every single time that I say it, I see this card in my head. Um, so I'm wondering if it will come out today or if maybe we'll have to actively seek it. Cause I do feel like that there is a story and uh, Let's see what that is. Okay. He told me only one of this when I first pulled it out. Oh, two came. You guys. Okay. Four base. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, I'm not quite sure. It's almost as if every single card is in reverse. So let's just see if I actually shook it up and if it, no, I did. It really is. Hmm. And this one, okay. Oh, we left another card behind. Okay, super deck. <laughs> okay, let's just talk, of, let's show the cards and then I'll tell you how it came out. So first we started off over here with the dragons. Every single one is in reverse, which to me is showing me this card first and this key. There's hidden knowledge missing um, not quite being utilized yet. We have Aquamarine Dragon from Neptune. It says it enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom, which is sad what I just said. Then the next one we have is Archangel Gabriel's Dragon, which brings purification. And the, and I should, that one. And then we got Emerald Dragon, which brings in healing, cosmic, and abundance. Okay, so with, there's need for purification. Um, whatever is in, inside energetically has to go. You, right, that's why we always say like cut cords, like um, eat well. It's time just to let go of whatever it is that is not meant to be you. Um, energetically, what are you making yourself up? Who are the people around you? Are they characters of value? or do they bring you down? Um, have you been eating well? Um, have you been sleeping? Do you actually take time to, up? Oh, they're telling me to go over to this pile. Do you actually take time to work on self-care? And when we say self-care, we don't mean like just go and get your hair and nails and whatever that kind of thing is. It's whatever in, fills up your soul with such joy. Um, so here we had the Weaver of Creation. It was in reverse because there's so many reverses in this reading. Um, what is it that you find joy in doing? Um, do you have joy every day or are you just focusing only on work and mundane, boring things? Because um, you really can have both and you should have both and nothing should be so hard and serious to the point where you sacrifice your joy for anything, right? You bring joy into what you do. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So if your joy is gone, you're, you're being asked what needs to be purified out of here. Um, we, we do have some upright cards, so let's go focus on that. Um, so creation and inner artist, we'll say. 
um, is blocked. It, the calling and the things that it wants to share are being suppressed. Um, and what that is, is your deepest wisdom, right? So we're going to say painting, an artist. Um, once they're showing me a guy, an artist who, once he starts painting, he actually starts to, oh, they're not very much in tapped into their emotions. So once they start painting, it's like you look at their paintings, um, you can tell what's in, um, what is the real depth because it will be portrayed in your art. They say, that's how you can express yourself. If you don't know how to express yourself, it's by being authentically you. And maybe you're not one with words to, um, come in and, you know, woo the whole crowd, but a picture speaks a thousand words. So going back creation in block, um, there was a limiter, um, to this inspiration. And then underneath that was home. Home and hearth, which always, always will remind me of Bridget, the Celtic triple goddess. Hmm, I love tapping into that energy. That's exciting that's coming into this reading. Okay, so let me just bring it in more. Okay. Oh. Every time she shows up, I just get so excited. I think that's why I get so, so excited around her season, even though I hate being cold, but when it's her day, um, it's like, you know, that that fire is coming back. The light's coming back. Um, the earth is waking up. And so for those that don't know, it usually falls around like February 2nd, something like that is around St. Bridget's day. So what does she do? She's all about that loving, nurturing energy, which is so funny that my friends say, because this is, this is my guide that I love connecting to the most. And then along the, along the way, I did get more of the crone, crone type guides coming in with this really deep ancient knowledge. But the reason why I laugh at this is because when we went for lunch with my friends, which is totally different lunch, <laughs> not the purple lunch, um, yeah, not the dragons. Um, they were laughing. So I'm like, I'm just in this phase of not caring. I've gone through so many battles, spiritual battles that, um, I've kind of come out on the other side. And as my friend said, in my crone phase, and, and I really love it here. I really love this, um, not being so oversensitive and you know, those things. So now we're bringing it back to the, the more, cause I said, she is a triple goddess. So she is all aspects. So mother made in crone, it's taking all of those and incorporating it. So Bridget, she's more in the mother, mothering, maiden mothering, I would say. So what does she want to share with this? So let me channel this message for a second because I am seeing a battle and I am seeing a war and I'm getting, uh, okay. Um, I'm so cold. Um, I can't think I'm so cold. I can't think when I'm cold. Why am I so cold? I'm shocked. I'm frozen. Um, I look down home and hearth. There is no fire. There is no warmth warming me right now. I feel very limited. And in that limitation, my brain stops and I can't think of inspiration or the words to say. Um, I feel frozen, choked, just stopped. So how do we do this? Home and hearth, home and hearth with Bridget. Um, one thing I like about her is it doesn't really matter who you are, um, but she's just so willing to love you. And, and so, you know, 
I'm kind of going back to every character, right? You're going to meet so many people and some are trustworthy, some are not, things like that. But what would Bridget do? She would like pull you up, even if, you know, you had just come and you would probably, she's a warrior. Don't get that, that wrong. She's very tough. Um, she's very calculated and all that. So can't pull those wool over her eyes, but she always is willing to forgive, right? She's, she's kindness, she's compassion, but she's smart. And so she'll bring you in after a battle or war. Um, and she will put you up in the best chair in the house, right? She'll give you the best right by the fire right? Cook you up food, all those things, comfort you, warm you, love you, nurture you. And it doesn't matter of like deserving is, is what they're showing. Is that when she, when she embraces you. And so I guess now she's wanting to say, oh, she's the flame keeper, keepers of the flame. Okay. And frozen. Someone's very frozen. So light the fire, light the flame. <sighs> I was going to light, <laughs> I was going to light a candle earlier. I heard it, I didn't do it, but I feel like I really should right now. So it's funny because this candle was given to me as a gift from my one friend. And uh, it's my fuck that candle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she gave it to when I was just really stressed out about all these things. And then I think that's when it started. That's like when the crumb phase came out and I was just like, nope, cut cords, you're off on your own. You go do your thing. Not so much standing in that Bridget energy, but they are kind of the same. Like, I think, I think that's the best part is like another friend's like, oh, are you still in your crumb phase? And I'm like, it's not really a phase and then you grow out of it. It's interchangeable. It's like I step into the role that I want when I need it. And I know that by being so flexible and having such badass, powerful guides, um, I'm protected. And so this is a message for someone about Bridget, um, the home and the hearth. If you find that that's kind of what you like doing is like, this is more like the homemaker type energy. Um, these are the ones who like, who really love caring and nurturing, nurturing and guiding a community. Um, and I say community only because what I see it is like, you're a safe place for those who have been wounded in a spiritual war. Now, that's all fine and all, right? The message is coming out. That's what the guides are saying. But I want to put in my little, my 3D human ego question. Because like some people will pretend, this is my fear coming through. Some people will pretend, right? And try to show you that they are on your side when, when they really don't have good intentions for you. What are you supposed to do in that scenario? Because I know the answer is to still be, that you need to have boundaries. So I feel like this is, I can't really get to this pile until I have that fixed in my mind. Cause like, yeah, I'm, I don't want to tell people to go out there and just be like, come on and sit down and do all this. Okay. They're now showing me energy. Hmm. Perfect. I actually didn't need a card, but I want one. Let's do it. <laughs> we have destruction. So the energy that um, they showed me is, is you connecting to your guides, right? We just brought in like two, two very powerful triple goddesses in this reading, right? Um, you know, segment, facet, like dual, but sometimes Hathor can be associated with them. Um, but then Bridget is the mother meeting crone energy. And it's just <sighs> interchangeable to know. Okay, so they say when we tell you to connect to your guides, 
and you know follow your intuition uh they say to go get that one the inspiration to follow the inspiration when we pour all this knowledge into you and we show you what to create and we give you this um advice so far in advance that it creates this really stable home for you um, it doesn't matter when someone comes in to limit you and try to cause destruction um, because because they won't really make it to you energetically you'll be so protected it's almost like they're showing me the the home card and it's like they can't even step through the front door um without accumulating karma because because it's like such good intentions of this home and hearth when what you're doing is is what you're guided to do is to help those in the spiritual war heal and rest because it's so tough in this 3d body it's very dense and there are a lot of weary people who sometimes just need one random act of kindness can change their day um that's what they're saying they're saying you don't really have to worry about those people because those people won't really come and let's say a snake does come and bite the hand that feeds it it's like well you you're very protected like that that venom is not going to be destructive in fact it's only now they're seeing like that Bob Ross teen song um it's almost like building building your resilience and that's it is she's just so loving and so nurturing and you know but she's smart and she's badass and so we go into the middle here um we had two two cards in the reverse and then when i had that big pile and then when i picked it up this one fell behind so we have the dueling dragons in reverse it says inner conflict morality and conscious choice and then we had the rainbow prince also in reverse. Um, and that one says compensation and perseverance. Mm. Then on top of that is the male warrior. So what I'm getting, when I, ah, and I feel, um, the Rainbow Prince one stood out first, and I'm cold again. Okay, um, I got no jackets around. There's always jackets around, but not when I need it right now. Okay, whatever. Um, it was the Rainbow Prince in reverse, and so I feel like this, this, this bright light, this, this, ah, you know, that's what I'm seeing, just shining and purpose and connection connection to source um but it was in reverse i feel like that connection kind of got severed a bit and and it's like really wanting you to step into your power and when you look in this rainbow there's just different universes and so yeah that one goes back to the creation card. That's how powerful your mind is, right? All this creates galaxies in these beautiful moments. Um, but this was in reverse. So how do we get it unreversed? It's the dueling dragon. And so I do feel like something in the past might have really got someone um, and really created them to... go into more hermit shut down i might even get a bit of anger and rage with this warrior type energy ah yeah that one um you know what i'm so freaking cold i really need a jacket hold on a second all right round two where are we i didn't think about the story i just left and thought about getting warm and so that's the story. Going back to the the hearth, the home and hearth, getting back to warming. So they want the candle. Getting back to warming yourself up. Um, it's interesting because it's not actually cold in my house, um, but it's just cold in this reading. And so 
how does someone warm back up? It's that inner conflict, but it was in reverse. So that's the confusing part. It's like they, they kind of know what they want, but it's just not stepping into the power and warming up to the idea that they can create the own, their own reality and universes. And I keep getting a thing of earlier in the, the needing to do art to express yourself rather than words. Um, yeah, cause if you're, if whatever's energy this one is, and it's that cold, um, I'm just seeing chattering teeth anyways, right? <laughs> like I'm still cold and I got a sweater on. <sighs> okay. Let's go back into these ones. <clears throat> okay. So Emerald Dragon says, Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your five-dimensional blueprint. So what does that mean? Aligning with your five-dimensional blueprint would be... I don't really know how to explain it. But here in our 3D, we have... A dense reality and and there's a lot of fear here and so we get trapped in ego and in this mind conflict which is this dueling dragon um, the whole purpose is to free ourselves from this dueling dragon um, which I guess is what this male warrior energy is doing it's just um, it already has it's just now now stepping into that creative phase where you create universes and so how do you do that well how you do that by using your heart and your heart has a lot of fire energy and so i feel like that that deep deep fire is really you know it, it, it can go through a couple things um, and that's what the fire does. It, it transforms you. And I did have on a necklace earlier. I took it off and it was the, what are you? Dragonfly, which is all about transformation. But yeah, I just wanted it sitting here beside me. So there's the transformation. So the fire burns hot, right? Especially when it's cold. It might even cause like that flood. But um I see fire turning to passion, turning to uh, love. And that love is, is the fifth dimension blueprint energy. That, that going through peeling back the layers of your heart, that is the transformation process. And, and then behind it is this back to this Bridget energy that encompassing all areas that finally feeling safe, supported, secured, seen, heard, because I feel like this person really doesn't feel heard um, because they don't use their voice. So you can use your voice in a different way as long as it is cultivating that fire within the home and hearth. Um, where is home? Where is your heart? Good question. So yeah, there's the fire or emerald, which is bringing in healing and cosmic abundance. Um, once you once you kind of like fine tune that flame to that love frequency again, right? There's just so many different degrees of fire, <laughs> right? That's all they'll say. And so yeah, purification. How do we purify? that cake okay, because they're showing me the frozen frozenness and then the 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 melt and and i'm kind of intrigued how how this energy is still frozen because we're like we just went through like a heat wave in like summer you know and like still to be frozen like that's interesting um okay so purification what do you want to share Gabriel? What they did, 
I feel it in my heart and I feel it in my back. And it's like a, a weight lifted off of both of them. So now they're saying the back is the past, letting go of the past burdens, the past worries. And then the heart, as it lifted, it kind of went up, up um, and rose. Um, and they're saying like, that's the future. And it's like giving spirit, your guides, the responsibility of the future. Um, I'm seeing what will be, what's meant to be will be. Um, they want to say when it comes to things like that, what's meant to be will be is not for you to not take power and charge of your own heart's energy and be like, oh, didn't work, but you didn't try either because you stayed frozen. So what they want to say is it's, it's really connecting to the guides and knowing that you're always connected to them all the time. <laughs> anytime you're like, yo, I really need help with this. They're like, shoot, all right, how can we help this? Um, the main focus is you. That's all they care about is how do you... Sorry, there was just something that came. Um, how do... Something about you. Sorry, what was the message? I'm out. Let me get back in. They started singing, um, oh, what's that guy's name? I want to say, like, the crazy guy, CeeLo. Is that who sings that? I remember when, I remember when I lost my mind. And then, um, is that make me crazy? So, all right, so this is a battle of the mind. Someone, it's not quite the heart, it's the mind <sighs> spinning out of control. Go to the duality, what did it say? Inner conflict, morality, and conscious choice. So your morality. If your mind is battling your heart, there's there's something of a disconnect. There is a reason to hit pause. This person's in so much in pause though that I'm I'm afraid that life is passing them by. And and you're meant to live. You're meant to live <laughs> and be live. Sorry, just a funny meme I shared to someone the other day. Um, okay, so the mind, how do you stop that? Well, it's because the heart's frozen, they say. And the heart can't say, what's in between the mind and the heart? Well, it's the throat. This person can't speak up because they don't even, I don't know, like I said, chattering teeth. So it's so important to work with the art. Because by doing that, this one said conscious choice. You're now saying, I hear what you have to say, ego, negative mind, whatever. But is that true? And the way to do that is to go within and let whatever that is out. So let it be art, let whatever. And then, and then you especially if you really are so disconnected from understanding your emotions, at least on that, if it's a story, if it's a picture, if it's a whatever you're creating, um, you'll see the energy deep in it, right? Is there sadness? Is there just this like inner child spark of joy? Uh, I don't know. It, it's for you to un unravel because we go back to the aquamarine one, which aquamarine is all about calming the mind. I love aquamarine. When I... I'm spinning out of control um, and my mind won't stop. I always, always, always grab this one piece of aquamarine. I don't think I got it. Nope, it's already put away. Um, yeah, what I love about aquamarine is like the whole day, I'll be trying to stop the mind and, you know, making it be how I want it to be. And then, you know, peace, that's what I want. That's what everyone wants. And as soon as I just go home and I pick up that piece, I sit in the rocking chair, it just would like, uh, and it would stop. It's like, you know, the washing machine on the last final spin cycle and you're so ready, like you're waiting for it. You're like, hurry up, hurry up, I'm late. <laughs> and it just goes on and on. It's that, 
that last like and you hear all the water swish that's what aquamarine is to me it's like that spinning spinning shroom sound so reading the card um enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom spirituality and wisdom are available to you develop your psychic abil abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge psychic ab oh thinking okay that makes sense with the song someone is so connected they are waking up to their abilities um that is scary when it first happens it definitely is it is but um I find, I think that's why I'm so open about it, is like, I'd almost rather throw it out there, let people know how things are and not be surprised later, um, than to find out and build something and then for them to judge you on it. So I'm so open. And the more that I've been open, the more and more I find that there are so many people who are afraid to share or who also, there's so many people, everyone's connected in their own way. And uh, we're going back to this home and hearth when I said like people on a spiritual battle coming to sit and rest and like repair and, and that's kind of, that's kind of what it's like. <clears throat> if you already have developed your gifts and you know, you can hold space for people who are now going into that because at the beginning it really is you, you, <laughs> the other day, I don't know if people, I, this was new. Um, I heard two people talking about me that I don't care about. Um, it's weird. I was like in my day and they like, my guides took me, they're like, come with us. And then I don't know where I went, but I heard a phone conversation and it was talking about how I made life choices, <laughs> but my life choices to them don't seem right. And we're going back to which card was it? Duality. Conscious choice. I Every choice that I make is with my guides and it is like a treasure hunt. I'll always say it's like a treasure hunt. And the more and more that I followed those, those intuition, inkling feelings, um, the more and more I can't deny it now. The more and more I understand how they work with me, I know when I'm being protected or when to like go a different way, right? Let's say you're walking home and they're like, let's take a new route today. Um, you're always, they're always looking out for you. So you don't really have to worry about that person coming back and um, being sneaky because you just know. And, and I think once the heart, once the flame starts to ignite, once you start that creation and yeah, the emotions come out, you see it on paper. That's when you're really going to start manifesting things, um, get the flow back. And from there, the mind and the heart are calm. Now I see speaking out. So now let's say somebody deceptive kind of comes into your camp. You'll be like, Hey, what about this, this, and this? You gotta take off your dirty shoes before you can come in the house, right? Leave your burdens in the burden basket and and be cool. And they have to because that's your rules and your threshold because you have proper boundaries there. But as for this ability coming, because um, now later on we read a little bit of psychic abilities coming, um, there's a real need to ground yourself and just keep clearing your energy. Clear, clear, clear. Because people will try to put their fears and their thoughts on you. And you'll think it's you. And you're like, man, I'm just so anxious. You're not anxious. You're, you're at the heart flame. You have Bridget on your side. And she is so lovely. She's the bread and butter. She's the home. She's that. Uh, she's just love. And so we're going to leave it there. That's so awesome that we got some Bridget energy in here because my friends keep telling me I'm in my crone phase and uh, there's a lot of segment that comes through that. So it was nice and softer today. Um, bring this energy through the day.
There's going to be a lot of healing and a lot of forgiveness that comes with Bridget entering your lives if you feel called to work with her. Um, because cause that forgiveness comes to you first. It's you being, um, all right, I understand why things played out. I understand why I did this. And I would do it again exactly the same way if it led me to this moment. This moment that you're going to have this eureka, eureka moment, this heart expanding, universe creating potential to tap into. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go have breakfast. Have a good day, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I don't know. Think about it. If you really want to work with Bridget, she's always there um, to open the best seat at her table um, to treat you with kindness and love and and help you through those past wounds and hurt that will help you heal. She's also a healer. We forgot to mention, she's a healer. <sighs> she's so cool. So, yeah. Maybe, if you're open to it. All right. Bye, guys.